when we receive a request on the server in the response body we can send any type of data we can send plain text we can send html data we can send xml data we can send json data etc sometimes from our application we might want to return json result in the response generally when we consume a web api a web api returns us json data json stands for javascript object notation and it is a data format used by most modern web apis and web applications for sending data to the client json has a javascript object type syntax where we have a key and a value key is always enclosed within double quotes for example if i scroll down let me go ahead and let me create a new action method i will use content result as return type and i will call it employee and from here i want to return some content result for that i'm using this content method and let me specify a route for this and let's say the route is slash employee slash maybe the employee name is john okay so whenever a user types this url in the address bar we want to return some json result in the response for that let me go ahead and let me specify some json result in a json data it starts with an opening and closing curly braces and in there we have fields and a field is basically a key value pair a key must be enclosed within double quotes now here we are already using double quotes so if i use double quotes like this inside this that means this double quote is starting here and it is ending here and then the next double quote is starting here and ending here so we cannot use double quotes like this here in order to use them we need to escape it like this and in here i can specify a key let's say the key is name and then we need to specify a value for that key so after the key we need to use colon and then we can specify a value since i'm going to specify a string value a string value should also be wrapped within double quotes so again we need to escape those double quotes first and then we can specify the value let's say value is john okay and here let's specify the content type which we are returning so here the content type will be application slash json because here we are trying to return some json data in the response let's go ahead and let's run this application so here we are in the home page after that let's say employee slash john if i press enter you see in the response we have some json data let me actually show you the content type for this so let's go to network tab let's make the request again and let's click on this request and you will notice that in the response headers the content type is set to application slash json so this is the json data a json data starts with an opening curly braces and it ends with a closing curly brace and in there we have a key a key must be wrapped within double quotes and we have a value here since the value is of string type it is wrapped within quotes but if the value is a number then quotes are not required let's go back to our application now specifying a json data like this it is a bit cumbersome task because here every time we will have to escape these double quotes and it will make it difficult to specify the proper json data so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a new folder and i will call this folder models now we have not talked about models yet we are going to talk about it in great detail in our coming lectures but for now we are going to create a sample model and a model is nothing but a class so here i'm going to create a new class i'm going to call this class employee and inside this employee class let me go ahead and let me add some properties so for that you can type prop and press tab two times so here i'm going to create an id property then again type prop and press tab two times here i'm going to create a string property and i'm going to call this property name okay let's just keep these four properties now we want to use this employee class inside our home controller and this employee class is present in this namespace so let's copy this namespace and here at the top let's use using directive and let's import that namespace okay and in here inside this action method 
let's go ahead and let's create an instance of employee class and here let's actually create a new employee so here let's specify the id let's say id is 101 let's specify name let's say name is john let's specify salary let's say salary is maybe 10,000 and let's also specify age and let's say age is 28 okay so here we have an employee object now we want to return this employee object as a JSON data in the response let's try to use this content method to do the same thing so here instead of the string value I want to return employee object in the response body and I want to set its content type as application slash JSON and here you will notice that we have an error and it says it cannot convert this employee object to string type basically if I go to the definition of this content method you see we have four overloads for this content method and in each overload the first argument is of type string so basically using this content method we can specify the content which we want to return in the result as a string we cannot specify it as an object but here this employee is an object it is not a string value so we cannot use content method here now instead of using content method and instead of returning a content result here we want to return JSON data in the response so for that we have another type of return type which is JSON result okay just like we use content result to return any type of data in the response in the same way we use JSON result for returning only JSON data in the response and here instead of using this content method now we can go ahead and we can create an instance of new JSON result okay and then the error should be gone now keep in mind that when we are returning a JSON result in that case the content type will be automatically set to application slash JSON we don't need to explicitly specify it here I don't need to explicitly specify that the content type should be application slash JSON it will automatically set to application slash JSON let me actually show you that so let's run this application again and let's go to root URL slash employee slash John and you see here we have the JSON result from the application we are returning an object an object of type employee but here you will notice that we have JSON result in the JSON result this ID is a key so it is wrapped within double quotes and this 101 is its value this name is the key so it is wrapped within double quotes and this John is its value now since John is a string value that's why it is wrapped within double quotes again salary is the key and 10,000 is its value and age is the key and 28 is its value and if I open the network tab let's make a request again let's open this request here you will notice that the content type is set to application slash JSON so always remember that whenever we return a JSON result the response content type will be automatically set to application slash JSON now here instead of creating an instance of this JSON result we can use a method called JSON and this JSON method is provided by this controller class okay so let's remove this new keyword because now we are using the JSON method and if I go to the definition of this JSON method you will notice that this JSON method is again going to return an instance of JSON result so basically it is similar to writing new JSON result all right and it is going to work in the same way if I go ahead and if I run this application there should not be any difference in the result Let's go ahead and let's type the URL so it is slash employee slash John and now you see we are still getting the JSON data in the response and that has been rendered here in the web page so basically you can use this JSON result as the return type for an action method whenever you want to return a JSON data in the response this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day